Hello everyone and welcome to the part 16 of this video series. Now in this video, we are going to start rendering our each individual shot here. So this will be something like this. Okay, like we do in the dribble. So now we are going to uh, start working on that. And one more thing that I left here for now is working on this part. Okay, so to work on this part, I have to first make the following table and which we are going to do while working on this uh, each individual shots okay so after completing our rendering part of individual shots uh, then we are going to uh, work on this again okay so let's first uh, complete this part so let's go here and go to the each shot component now here first we are going to make a function uh, to get our first item uh, from this shot uh, we are doing this because we want to know if we have video or the image or the gallery component as a first component in our shot or not so we are going to make that component so we can at once handle our first item okay and now inside this first item and this will be equals to shot dot items and we are going to take the first item now we are going to check here uh, if the first item is equals to so dot type is equals to image so if this is equals to image then we are going to return a object here in which the type will be uh, image okay and then we are going to have content okay so this will be equals to first item dot content similarly we are going to check for the video so we can write else save and then we can copy this paste here replace this with video and then we can write this after that we are going to check for the gallery so we can write else save if the first item dot type is equals to gallery so inside this first we are going to get our content so we are going to use try and catch here and now here first we are going to get our content and we are going to pass that content uh, since the content inside the gallery component will be in type of a string so we are going to pass that to get the json so we can write passed content and this will be equals to json dot parse and we can then write our first item dot content now in this past content if we go to the hooks and then to the upload data uh, i think not here we can go to the upload then components and then main media in the gallery component here you can see the past content that we have here will have type something like this okay so it can be a image or a video and then we are going to have our url of our image or video and then all string so we are going to get this url here and also the type so we are going to check uh, in this past content which will be array of object so we are going to use uh, array here so if array dot is array so first we are going to check if uh, this is a array or not and if this is a array then we are going to get the first object and then check its type okay so we can write const image or video and this will be equals to past content dot of find and we are going to get media so media dot type and this can be equals to uh, if you want to insert a type here then we can just export this we have already exported i can just write something like this uh, gallery data so we can write gallery 
data array and now we can use that type over here dot type if this is equals to video or media dot type is equals to image then we are going to take this image of video component and then we are going to return our object here which will be uh, in this same format where the type will be image or video dot type and then we are going to have content which will be url here okay url else if we find any other then we are going to just console the error here and we can write a uh, failed to pass the gallery component now below that we are going to call this function so i'm going to add const first item and this will be equals to handle first item function okay so now that we have this first item we can use ternary operator here to render either the image or a video okay so now i can just comment this out and below this i can write a first item so if we have the first item and the first item dot type if this is equals to our image then we are going to render our image component so i can just copy this from here paste here and instead of this we can write first item dot content uh, in here i can just copy this and paste here okay and, and you can also actually return uh, alt value as well along with this type and content okay and uh, string or undefined is not assignable so so we can check that here as well so along with this we can also check first item dot content now similarly now we can duplicate this and this time we are going to check for the video and then we are going to use the video tag we are going to remove this alt tag from here and we are also going to remove this and the class name uh, we are going to have rounded lg w full h 200 pixels and also uh, object cover and along with this we are going to have autoplay uh, mutate and loop okay so now let's save and let's see if this is working or not so refresh the page and you can see that this is still working okay now if i go here and add a uh, let me first sign in and i'll share the work so i'm going to choose a video now so this will be good enough i'm going to remove this editor i do not want that and we can add a title that would be a video item okay now i can just continue add a category animation hashtag animation and then i can save i think i should add a redirect button i think i added but i don't know why this is not working so this is the router dot push after we have the response we are going to redirect the user to the uh, home page i'm going to the local host and here as you can see we have the email uh, sorry video so we made uh, that shot but let's try one more time uh, this would be video 2 and i can remove this one and let's wait this will be bigger size and now i can add one more category that would be you can say product design and we can add design and product and now we should redirect to the home page after uh, this is successful and as you can see now i have been redirected to the home page and this is the new video this and this is also running 
so that's good i'm going to actually go to uh, actions then upload and i'm going to remove reverse this so this will be descending okay so that we can get our uh, new up shots over here now so this is working and we can close this and we can continue writing our jsx so now after this inside this div which we had already made we are going to add one more div give this a class name of flex item center spacex one relative and w full now inside this uh, we are going to have the image and then src value so we can have a user image or not so we are going to use a condition here but for now let's just write uh, author.jpg we are going to do some changes in our uh, short data so right now let's write and complete this jsx so give this a class name of rounded full object cover and then give the width of 20 and height of 20 and also the alt value will be author okay now we can go back to our actions and here we are going to include the uh, user as well so we have user so i'm going to include so select and we are going to select the name which will be true okay, so we are going to uh, choose these two so now i have to also change the type here so we can go to the render shot again and now here in the data this is the short data type this is the short data type which is coming from here so now we also have the user uh, inside that we are going to have image which will be a type of string and then we are going to have name which will be a type of string so now we can access that over here so now here i can write short dot user dot image okay okay now let's go here and as you can see now the image coming here which is my github image and i think the user is uh, same for all of these shots so we are getting everywhere now uh, let me uh, sign out from here and i'm going to log in from another account uh, which will not have any kind of image and then we are going to have uh, two user here so let me sign out because now i have uh, logged in with another account and let's add one more shot here and now as you can see okay so can I create property null and we are getting this error the reason is because uh, we do not have image in this user's case so we are going to add a condition here so if we have the short dot user dot image uh, then we are going to show this image tag okay otherwise we can go to the new bar and we can copy this p tag and paste it over here and this will be short dot user dot name okay and and text will be extra small so now let's save and we should now not have any kind of problem okay so this is the text now we should add some backgrounds so we can write width of 5 which is actually 20 pixels h of 5 and then flex item center justify center and bg orange of 500 and text white 
let's see so this is how it is going to look okay and around it full okay so now that's good now we can continue adding some more uh, jsx here so after this we are going to add the p tag and inside that we are going to have the user's name so we can write short dot user dot name and give this a class name of text extra small and font medium and now we should have the user's name of these shorts after that uh, below this div add one more div uh, give this a class name of flex item center uh, space x1 and text neutral of 500 after that inside this add one more div and give this a class name of flex item center uh, space x1 and then we are going to have a span inside that we are going to have a svg okay so this will be the svg and after that we are going to have one more span inside that we can add 55 for now so this is actually the number of likes make this uh, 14 and 14 a little bit smaller and make this text extra small much better similarly we are going to add for the views so we can just duplicate this and we can write here and we can write here 7.9k views and then we are going to change this svg you can copy this svg from my github paste it over here uh, make this 14 and 14 here as well much better so right now these are static values we are going to change that later but now this is looking uh, much better now we are going to uh, add a hover effect okay so when we hover over it uh, we can see the title of this shot so now below this div okay we are going to add one more div and i give this a class name class will be absolute uh, bottom seven text will be extra small sorry small and w will be full bg gradient uh, to top okay and from neutral 600 to transparent okay after that we are going to actually uh, use this syntax for our class name so that we can use ternary operator here so we are going to check if the short title is true or not if this is true then we are going to do nothing otherwise the opacity will be uh, zero okay and also we are going to add the transition so transition all and duration will be of 200 milliseconds and the type will be easy okay now inside this uh, make one more div give this a class name of flex item center uh, justify between w full uh, p of 3 py of 5 and uh, pt of 10 now inside this div we are going to have a p tag and this will have the short dot title and give this a class name of text white and font medium after that we are going to have two uh, buttons here for bookmark and for liking the shot so first give this give a class name of flex item center and space x2 now inside this add a span and give this a class name of p2 rounded full bg white and inline block not online this will be inline block now inside this we are going to have uh, the bookmark icon so bookmark from lucid direct 
and the size will be 13 and the stroke width will be 2 okay similarly we are going to just uh, duplicate this and here we are going to have the heart okay now let's save and when hovering we are going to see a title and these two buttons are to save and like okay so this is working good and one more thing we have to add the rounded bottom of lg uh, yeah now this is good now we do not have this pointy corners okay so this was all we have to do here now we are going to make a model uh, to show the individual uh, shot and its content so now here in the show I'm going to make one more folder and that would be main uh, view and this will have a component name main view so the naming is almost same okay now let's directly uh, write our JSX here so I'll give this a class name and here we are going to make the position fix okay max empty uh, top zero then max empty uh, left zero and bottom zero and max empty right zero okay then over md the height will be a 97 viewport height and md w full and md rounded a top of 40 pixels okay after that pg white okay and z will be of 100 okay. now after that uh, we can add a custom class here that would be shadow main view so we are going to add that in our global.cs file then overflow y auto and then we are going to add a condition here later after that we can add an x mark here uh, which will close this model so we are going to add a div here give this a class name uh, top 0 and right of 4 and cursor pointer okay inside that we are going to import the x from lucid direct and give this a class name of text white and then size will be of 24 okay now after that uh, we can use this main view component in our uh, page so i think we can add to our layout main view okay now let's save and we should have something like this so you can see that only this much part is visible here and what is this uh, whatever uh, but you can see that only this much part is visible uh, which we wanted now i am going to add that css in my global.css file so this will be a shadow main view i'm just going to copy this name and go to the main view and paste it here to be more sure about this a spelling so now we should have as you can see we have a now a shadow and this should be on the right side so not think this should be right okay much better so now when we click on this uh, we can actually close this model so now we are going to continue adding here now after this we are going to start rendering our data so we are going to first fetch our data so we are going to make some hooks here which we are going to use here so uh, we have all these things and i'm going to make a 
folder here name show and inside that i'm going to make first hook and that would be use selected uh, short id okay so this will be only for id now first we are going to import the create from uh, zero stat then define the interface so this will be selected uh, short store and here we are going to first have the selected short id okay and this will be type of string or null then we are going to have set selected short id so here we are going to pass our id which will be a type of string or null and this will return a void okay then we are going to have a get selected short id uh, which will return a string or a null value after that we are going to define a boolean value which will tell us uh, when to open this model or when to close that okay so is short open and this will be a type of boolean and we are going to define two functions on open short and this will be a void function then duplicate this and this will be on close short now we are going to define our uh, store here so we can write export const use selected uh, short store and this will be equals to create pass this interface which will be selected short store we are going to use set and get both methods and here first selected short id will be null then i'm just going to go with the autocomplete yeah that's it now let's save and go to our each short component and we are going to import that hook okay so use selected short store and from here we are going to get a set selected short id and also on open short okay and now let's go below and on clicking this we are going to first make the short open so on open short and after that set selected short id and this will be equals to short dot id okay so this will be all for this component now we can close this and go back to the main view component and here i can write const i use selected short store and we can get is short open and then on close short and also selected short id again now after that we can write is short open if it's true then we are going to uh, do nothing otherwise it will be hidden and on clicking this we are going to uh, use this function on close short okay now let's save and when it, okay so let's make this a client component and now we should not have this uh, error so now when i click on this we get this model and when closing this uh, this closes okay now we want uh, animation here so for that i'm going to use flavor motion so we can import motion from flavor motion and let's make this motion dot div 
now I'm going to define the initial and uh, animate so initial we are going to have translate y in thousand then we are going to scale it down to 0 0.6 and opacity will be 0 0.7 and after that when animated uh, we are going to have the translate y to be 0 scale to be 1 and opacity it will be 1 as well okay and let's add the transition here so the transition will be uh, duration of 0 0.6 seconds and ease in so this will be ease in out this will be duration okay so now let's save this and test it out and we should see some animations okay so we have one more solution here instead of this we can actually use uh, animate presence from uh, frame of motion so now we can wrap this whole div uh, inside this animate presence okay so something like this and we can remove this condition and we can use this over here so if each shot is true then we are going to show this motion.div okay and uh, now we should uh, see our animation working so as you can see this is working now you can remove this scale from here so that we get something like this okay but i think scale should be there and we can actually increase this to 0 0.9 okay much better okay and we can also add exit animation so exit animation will have the opacities to be zero uh, we're just going to uh, change the translate y value to be again 1000 and let's make this a little bit faster so so now that's good now we are going to fetch our short data so let's make one more file here that would be short.ts and here we are going to fetch our data so i'm just going to copy this I'll paste here and then i'm going to define a function export const I'll get short by id and this will be asynchronous this will take a id which will be a type of string then you try and catch block and here we can get our short so we can add const short is equals to await prisma dot upload dot find unique where id will be id and then we are going to return the short here and we are going to include the items so this will be true and also we are going to have the user okay and if you find an error then we are going to just return a null value okay and we should have an error over here so with this uh, this function is done now we can save this and go back to our main view and we are going to use use query here that const uh, empty object is equals to use query now inside this we are going to have query key which will be short and selected short and after that we are going to have query function so this will be a asynchronous function and inside this first we are going to check if we have the selected short or not if we have that then we are going to get our short from get shot by id and pass the selected shot and then we are going to return the shot okay 
so we are going to return the shot if we have the shot so if we have the shot then we are going to return the shot okay and now from the use query we are going to get is loading and then data data will be shot uh, data and uh, yeah these two things if you want any other things like error or is error is pending you can get that as well but we are going to use only these two so now after this we are going to check if is loading or true or not if this is true then we are going to show a loading state okay otherwise we are going to the our main component okay so now let's make our skeleton first so here we can write main view skeleton dot tsx okay and now we can uh, import that over here main view skeleton now let's go to our skeleton component and so give this div a class name of max w screen lg and mx auto and py10 okay now after that inside this div uh, add the skeleton here so skeleton and give this a class name of w64 and h5 after that add a div give this a class name of flex item center and justify between and then uh, inside this div add one more div give this class name as well of my4 flex item center and space x2 then inside this add the skeleton and give this a class name of w14 and h14 and round it fully now below that add one more div give this a class name of space y2 and then two skeletons i give this class name of w16 and h4 and duplicate this and this time the w will be 10 and h will be 2 after that below this div add one more div gives us a class name of flex item center and the space x4 and inside this we are going to have the skeletons okay so now give us a class name of w12 uh, h12 and around it full and then duplicate two times and lastly outside this div add one more div give us a class name of my10 and inside this we are going to have a skeleton so this will be the um, large skeleton so give this a class name h will be 500 pixels and rounded xl uh, w will be 4 by 5 and mx auto so now let's save and go back to the browser and when we open this we get a loading okay so let me make my network slow as you can see this is the loading state okay uh, you can actually change the color of these skeletons to you can say uh, let's say bg neutral or maybe 800 and they will show something like this as you can see they are much darker now okay so you can do this as well but i'm going with the uh, default background color of these skeletons and i'm not going to change anything so now uh, now we are in the main view component and now we can start rendering our short data so now in this view i uh, make one more view give this a class name of flex and item start then inside that add one more div 
give this a class name of a max w screen lg transition all and duration will be of 150 milliseconds is in and position will be relative after that we are going to add a condition here if the comment section is open then we are going to slide uh, the whole uh, content main content to the left side so we are going to do that later i'm going to uh, leave this for now and actually add a mx auto so now inside this we are going to add one module and inside that add one module and give this a class name of position relative md py of 16 otherwise uh, py will be 6 now after that inside this div we are going to have two components first will be the heading so we can have the heading here and then we are going to have main content so main content so we these two uh, component will be there to show most of the uh, content of our short apart from this we are going to have many other components uh, to interact with this short but these two components will be there to just show the content of our short so we are going to make uh, them over here heading dot tsx and then second will be main content tsx let's import them over here and just above this heading we are going to have our title so h1 tag give this a class name of text uh, to excel and font semi bold and inside this we can add our short data so short data dot title okay so when i open this we get our title here mm, let's refresh it okay so now we have our text here and this will be uh, in the center initially until we make this heading and main component okay so now let's go to the heading and we have to actually pass our short data so we can write short data is equals to short data and we can check the type here so the type is user item and the short data so it's actually uh, I think now well, we can make that type over here so we have the short data and we can make the interface interface short data type and this will extend the short or upload okay so now we are going to have the items here and this will be a type of items from Pisma client and also we are going to have the users sorry user which will be a type of uh, user and now we can assign that type over here short data type and item upload id user so the undefined is not actually assigned a short data let's see what is the problem so this can be undefined so we can write here this can be undefined now we should not have any problems okay now let's work on this heading part so i can remove this heading first give this to a class name of py2 of flex item center justify between uh, sticky and top zero background color will be white and z will be 40 after that inside this make one module give this a class name of flex item center space x2 and then we are going to have our uh, users image short data so let's destructure our short data over here 
short data so if we have short data dot uh, user dot from next image okay and add the SRC so SRC will be the same value all it value will be a uh, short data dot user dot name okay and otherwise we can have an empty string width will be of 48 and height will be of 48 okay and lastly give this a class name of rounded full okay if we do not have the image then we are going to just show the first letter so so give this a class name of w12 h12 uh, bg orange of 500 rounded full flex item center and justify center then inside this add a p tag give this a class name of uppercase uh, text to excel uh, font medium and text white and then we can have the first character of our name so data sorry short data dot user dot name dot caret zero now after that below this we are going to have a div give this a class name of space uh, y of two pixels and now inside this we are going to have a p tag we are give this a class name of text as a of font medium text neutral of 800 and then we can have here data uh, sorry short data dot user dot name okay and lastly we can have one more p tag although we are going to do some changes in this p tag for now i'm going to just write text extra small and text neutral of 500 and cursor pointer and inside this we can have a follow or following okay so this will be for that button okay and now if i say go back here which is going to be this is going to look like this now below this div i can add one more div give a class name of flex item center and a space x3 so this will be three buttons over here okay so now here i can add a button uh, give this a class name of p2 of flex item center uh, justify center rounded full and after that border neutral of 200 and border of 1.5 pixels okay now here we are going to have the like icon now here we are going to have the heart icon for liking the shot okay and give the size to be 20 stroke width will be of 2 and yeah for now this will be enough similarly we can duplicate one more time and this will be for the bookmark let's save and this should look something like this and lastly we are going to add one more button so this will be for uh, the mail so give this class name px5 py 10 pixels rounded full uh, bg neutral of 950 and text white text small and then we can write get in touch mm, this button okay and we can actually do one thing let's go to the main view and we can add one more thing that w 
टू बाय थ्री ओके सो मिनिमम दिस विल बी द वेट ऑफ दिस होल सेक्शन बट इट कैन गो अप टू दिस वन जीरो टू फोर पिक्सल्स सो आई थिंक दैट्स गुड आफ्टर दैट लेट्स वर्क ऑन दिस मेन कॉन्टेंट एंड दिस विल ऑल्सो टेक आर शॉर्ट डेटा ओके ना आई गोइंग टू गो टू द मेन कॉन्टेंट एंड यू कैन जस्ट कॉपी दिस एंड पेस्ट हेयर एंड दिस एज वेल सो ना लेट्स डिस्ट्रक्चर आर शॉर्ट डेटा हेयर एंड we can uh, start with our js6 directly so we are going to map over the show data dot item so this will be an array so we can map and we are going to have the item and the index okay use the curly braces because we are going to use if statement here so if the type sorry the item dot type if this is equals to a text then we are just going to return a simple div and it will have the key to be index and they give this a class name of pros uh, m by 20 a uh, leading of 8 w full and flex flex call uh, item center and justify start and then we can use dangerously set in the html so we can write this and inside that we can pass our html so html and this will be equals to item dot content okay so now save and if i go here and let's choose this i don't think we have text anywhere mm. let's make a new work over here okay so this is the new shot and this is our text okay so uh, this is looking good i think we can reduce this and let's uh, see the uh, tags here so inside this we have p p and p so i think we had uh, one p over here and that is why we are seeing this much gap okay so yeah we can uh, remove that while adding this uh, text inside our text editor but but yeah that's fine you can uh, edit some more uh, here to make your liking so we can actually make this something like this so this will start with i think from the left side like this and as you can see now this is much better so you can go with this as well or we can add a padding to make a little bit in centerish okay uh, we can yeah we can do this much better so like this we are also going to check for the video and text and for gallery so let's do that as well so we can write else elf if the type is equals to a video so the image then we are going to render the image so we can return a image component okay from next image we can pass the src which will be item dot content all tags uh, which will be item dot uh, maybe i think extra 2 is the value then add the class name Uh, to add the size of our component, so if item dot uh, extra one, if this is equals to large, 
so if this is true then we are going to make w full otherwise we are going to go with the w4 by 5 okay and then mx auto to make everything center my5 and rounded axle let's see how this is looking so let's open this and um what is happening image is missing okay so we have to add the width also so you can say width will be thousand and height will be thousand this is different from this width that we have defined so don't worry about that okay so yeah this is our image so this is working and let's see the alt text of this image so uh, this is class name srct alt is large so we made a mistake this should be extra one and this should be extra two now this will be bigger and that's what we want okay so yeah now we have rendered the image text and now we are going to render our video so else if uh, we can just copy this paste here so it's not here here we can change this to video and then we can uh, add a video tag here and just copy this all paste here remove this alt value and i think everything should be same we can remove this width uh, we can remove this width also okay now let's open this so the problem was that uh, we are not returning uh, this video tag so we should return it otherwise it will not render and now we have this okay now i want this to loop now i want this to loop auto play and these two things to happen we have to make this mute and now this will work let's close this open this one so as you can see this video is running and this should also run i think yeah this is so yeah and last is our gallery so else if if the type is equals to gallery then actually we are going to use the carousel here so let's go to our uh, gallery component and here now uh, we can create our carousel so this is the carousel i can just copy this paste here and also i can get the imports okay now let's go below we do not need this set api okay and here we are going to map over this gallery object so here we are going to first get our content from this item so we can add const uh, gallery item and this will be this okay after that i'm going to pass that item okay so we can write const past uh, item is equals to json dot pass and then i can pass this gallery item now i can use that over here so actually let's use this name here okay and this will be type of any so i'm going to use gallery uh the type so i should have the type yeah this is the gallery data so i'm going to import that here gallery data and this will be an array and now this should let's save and this is the gallery so i can open this and okay so this is the image okay now for this i can go here we can use object cover not content object cover 
Um, okay, and let's also make this in center. So I can add one more div here. Class name flex item center. Justify center. Okay, I think this is much better. But I uh, the size of this uh, video is very small, so that is why. Uh, this is not actually covering this whole part okay and now one thing we can do one here that we can add a empty five a little bit spacing over here so yeah so we have also rendered uh, our gallery component so with that I think we are done for now so in this video we have rendered our each individual shot here okay so now from next video we are going to add some more functionality in this uh, model like uh, liking adding collection and also showing the related shot of a user and also some more related shot that is not from this user so we are going to add many more things in this component and also that comment part that we do here so this thing okay so this will be all for this video